is why I'm out at the lake and it's pretty windy. I'll show you in a bit how windy it is. But basically, all that wind, uh, if you're gonna be doing some filming, you know, you're gonna have to use a microphone. Right now I'm using a trusty uh, little lav mic. It's like 20 bucks and you can use it either with a camera or with a smartphone because it has battery power, which is pretty cool. But I thought it'd be cool to test and see just uh, how much of a difference it can make between the shotgun mic, this lav mic, uh, I have a Rode lav mic that I'll hook up to a uh, smartphone, and uh, then just the internal mic with the Canon M50. And then I just wanted to see, hey, you know, I always know that the shotgun mic's not gonna do that great when it's really windy, but I just wanted to see what the difference was, and I thought I'd share that with you. So check it out as we look at the difference between the lav, the different lav mics, the internal mic, and the shotgun mic when it's this windy out. This test is, of course, using the lav mic that has the battery power, and so I can use it with the camera. And this is my go-to. Um, it does pretty well. I mean, you could spend a lot more money, but 20 bucks and you've got a good lav mic. And this is basically what it sounds like uh, with the wind. I went and went closer to the water so you could hear the difference in sound. And it's not too bad, um, but what ends up happening is when you're editing with the video and using the, this mic, you're gonna have to basically, um, you know, do a slight bit of alteration because you will get some uh, little sound distortions here and there. It really does good output, but you're not gonna get like the quality that you would with a high-end mic, but still, it's pretty good for 20 bucks, right? Stretching it out with the lav mic, um, you know, I could go much further. This has got a lot of cord, but uh, just doing a little bit of a test. When I do the shotgun mic, I'll try to be about this same distance, but um, the wind's pretty good in this uh, spot right here. And um, you can definitely, I, I would think, tell a pretty big difference. And this is only 20 bucks, so that's pretty, uh, pretty decent. The wind's coming along pretty good right now, and the lake is uh, pretty nice. <laughs> internal uh, mic with, with the Canon M50 and this is basically what it sounds like. Um, I imagine it's not too bad but uh, you're still, you know, you've got some wind. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, move to different locations because uh, I think if I go close to the water you'll get a little bit more wind and then you'll be able to see um, kind of the difference. Right, so obviously this is the Canon M50 and I'm a fair bit away away and I've got some wind. So this is the internal mic. And uh, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to uh, this mic and see if I can get some distance. Uh, the further you go away, the more the lav mic is going to make sense in the wind. Okay, now I'm just uh, holding the tripod. This is more uh, in the wind, and of course, this is using the Canon M50, and really, it's about arm's length away. So the further I go away, the more you're going to notice the difference between this and the lav mic. <laughs> Okay, this is the road mic test. Um, this one might be a little bit better than the lav mic, uh, the $20 one. And it has the benefit of, um, you know, it has the benefit of not using battery. The problem is it gets its power from the smartphone, but you can't use it directly with the camera. You can use the other one uh, directly with the camera, which is pretty cool. Okay, this is the road mic test. Um, this one might be a little bit better than the lav mic, uh, the $20 one, and it has the benefit of, um, you know, it has the benefit of not using battery. The problem is it gets its power from the smartphone, but you can't use it directly with the camera. You can use the other one uh, directly with the camera, which is pretty cool. Okay, this is the road mic test. Um, this one might be a little bit better than the lav mic, uh, the $20 one, and it has the benefit of, um, you know, it has the benefit of not using battery. The problem is it gets its power from the smartphone, but you can't use it directly with the camera. You can use the other one uh, directly with the camera, which is pretty cool. Now, the way this works is I'm gonna go ahead and clap. And then I know to start my audio uh, and so that it syncs up with the, the visual on the camera. But this is how it does far away. And of course, it's not gonna matter how close or far away you get because it's a lav mic. So I could be way out here 
and I'm going to get the same qu sound quality as way up above. Uh, and despite the wind, I mean, I'm sure you're getting a little bit of uh, wind, but in, in editing, you can actually get some of that out. So you can do a lot more. You can turn and your audio is going to be the same. Um, you can be talking about and watching the paddle boarders way over there as they're trying to do their stuff. Yeah. Nice. Gonna have a hell of a time in this wind. Anyway, so, so the whole idea is to get good audio. And no matter what you're using, um, you just want to be able to adapt, of course, to what you've got. That's why having the different mics. All right, this is with the shotgun mic. I can't imagine this would be uh, that great. I'm about as far as a, away as I was before. And um, this usually will pick up a fair bit of wind right near there. So although it's great in most uh, cases in the wind, uh, definitely the lav mic does better, but you can hear the difference. The guy going out on a uh, paddleboard, pretty windy for a paddleboard. It'll be funny to see how far he gets. Also, if you notice with the lav mic, it'll follow you. So if I turn this way, um, I'm still gonna get pretty good sound. But as I turn away from the shotgun mic, my voice going that way, you're gonna hear a difference. So that's another thing with the lav mic that makes it a lot better. All right, all right, so that concludes the test of the mics. I've gone back to the um, $20 mic because I know I can depend on it. I don't know though when the battery kicks out, like there's no light that tells me. So I could be recording along and not even know that the battery's gone and then I'm toast. My audio is gone. So that's why the Rode mic with your is a little more complicated, but it's handy. They do, I do have, you know, with the shotgun mic, it tells you there's a green light. And so you know with the shotgun mic, whether uh, your, whether your battery is done or not. But the thing of it is, you have to always be checking. That's why having the Rode mic is handy because it gets the power off the iPhone. You know if that's done. So there's trade-offs to each of them. I find the $20 one pretty handy and I use it all the time. So, and, and when you're doing your own recording, of course, uh, I'm not an expert at audio by any means. Uh, certainly getting better and better all the time. But I find uh, adapting to different things. Like if you know you're gonna be out in a windy situation, you obviously wouldn't use a shotgun mic. <laughs> and you wouldn't use the internal mic. Uh, you're just not going to get the thing. If you know you're going to be far away from the camera, at some point I'd love to, of course, uh, save up and get the um, wireless mics. But they come with their own complications. Uh, anytime you up your tech, you end up upping complications with things. And, uh, you, you know, it still relies on batteries, so those can kick out as well. So in the end, um, you know, th there's no perfect solution, but you can have some backups. It's kind of handy, like let's say you have um, your road mic. Uh, you can be going off of internal and you can have your road mic. So you have two, even though the internal mic might not be as good, it's a good backup. Like if, it, if the road mic fails, you have the internal mic as backup. So that's really cool. Anyway, um, I was coming out here at the lake, so I thought I'd do some testing for my own curiosity. I'm always curious to see how things do in different conditions. And you know, every condition is gonna be different, but it's fun to do some testing and it's fun to share. And hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, give it a like. We'll be having some more uh, videos on the Canon M50. Love the camera. I'd like to stretch my own creative boundaries with the camera and to really try to dive in because sometimes when you get a camera or any sort of tech, it's easy to rely upon default. It's really easy to just go, okay, well, I know how to do this. I know how to do that. And you just rely on it. But there's so many things you can do with this camera if you really dive in. So my thought is to try to really um, go, when I first got some, some of the first Canon cameras I got, what I did was I went and um, I took the manual and I would, uh, you know, look up on how to do something. And then I would, you know, take some pictures and practice and, and do that on an ongoing basis, which is laborious, but I learned a, a ton from it. So uh, my intention is to do something similar with the Canon M50 and try to really uh, delve into some of those nooks and crannies that really don't get used for the most part, but come in handy in certain situations. And when you do use them, come off a little more professional than if you're just using a default. So again, hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like. Be sure to subscribe so you see the other Canon M50 videos and I'll see you next time.
Hey, this is Wyatt. Quick little extra for those of you who watched all the way through. Um, really disappointed in the Rode lav mic. Now, I have to say, uh, it could be from a couple different things. And I'm going to do some other testing. I don't use it very often, honestly. Uh, I had to poke through and, and find it. And the app, re-download the app. They actually stopped support for it a bit. They said they're going to have a newer version pretty soon. But the app doesn't really get good reviews. And that can really affect the output. And it's... Um, it's interesting uh, getting the file. You'd think it would just go straight. You know, you could airdrop it, but uh, they've got it where you download it off their site. But uh, anyway, uh, I wanted to uh, definitely show you something interesting if you're thinking about getting the Rode uh, mic. And that's this. They, they say uh, important information. Um, you know, check out uh, what you're purchasing. No FBA seller fulfilling by Amazon is authorized. No FBA. Now, if you go to Amazon, you'll see it right here. 79 bucks and it says used. Now you'll have to look there. I wouldn't recommend actually getting it on Amazon. And I think this is something that's much larger. Uh, it speaks a lot to what's happening on Amazon itself. There's a, there's a lot of really uh, not very good products there um, right now. Even those that you think are good, uh, good, they're really not. So what I've done is I have a link to B&H Photo. And I think you're much better off. First of all, you're going to pay the same amount um, getting it there than you are getting it on Amazon. Um, so I would look to uh, B&H Photo uh, if you want to get that uh, lab mic from Rode. Now, again, I don't think that <laughs> my uh, uh, audio test is really a fair rep presentation. I'm going to play around with it a little bit more. Plus, my version is actually an older, outdated version. And the one um, I have a link to is a newer version. Uh, I paid a, a bit less for mine. But I did go back through and I had to check and see. It's all road, so it wasn't a knockoff or anything like that. Um, but, but I still uh, really like the $20 a mic. And it really depends on your situation. I, I've been really actually impressed by the internal mic on the M50. So, uh, you know, it's up to you what you're doing. If you're going to be far away, of course, you're going to want to use something. And uh, the lab mic is definitely the way to go. That shotgun mic can come in handy. Um, but definitely you uh, can encounter within a room... You you can encounter a bit of uh, echo uh, things going on, so you do have to uh, account for that. But um, in certain situations, it's very helpful, and having a wide range of mics is always going to uh, be a benefit when you're, you know, trying to get good recordings or even to have some backup recordings in case something fails. Definitely a way to go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching all the way through, and hope this last part was helpful for you. See you next time. Okay, so this is uh, just the camera audio. Something I found, uh, Vermont Rocks, uh, the alien. Vermont Rocks, this is the alien rock. And uh, on the back here, on the back here, it's got uh, keep or hide Vermont Rocks on Facebook. Post a pic. So I'm going to be posting a pic, but I thought I'd put this in the video. Vermont Rocks. It's kind of fun idea. I'll let you know later if I keep it or hide it.